listen, I get it. I understand the internet. I mean, you want to know who the top 10 wonder kids are in Football Manager 2021. I get it. I really, really do. But there's just no way. Oh, go on then. Hello and welcome back to FM Blog, the original Football Manager YouTube channel. FM21 is out, the beta version anyway, and we have scouted all the Wonder Kids and this video is the 10 best Wonder Kids and what they look like in 2030. Now, do us a favor before we start, don't forget to smash a like on the video, subscribe if you are new. So much FM21 content coming out. If you want the shortlists and all that stuff, head on over to the website fmblog.com. We've got the guide to FM over there as well, which is really useful. But if you're interested in supporting the channel and me, myself personally, and my other channel, FM Wonder Kids, where you can find lots and lots of Wonder Kids videos going up at a rapid pace, hopefully, uh, consider supporting us on Patreon. You can download all the shortlists that we make for all the videos over there, as well as all sorts of other, other goodies, including this actual save here, which is 2013, which has got an incredible amount of people. So, here it is, without further ado, the best, the 10 best footballers in 2030. And obviously these guys are wonder kids at the start of the game. So we'll have a little look at what my scouts are thinking. Boom, look at all those stars, yeah? So we'll go from bottom to top. Reese James comes in at the bottom. So right back for Chelsea at the start of the game. I thought these guys are going to be quite hard to buy really at the start of the game because it's no secret that they're, that, that they're this good. And they're all, most of them playing for big teams, but there are some which you can pick up, and we'll go into that along the way. But Reese James, you can see here, he's developed into a really good right-back. He's got the crossing ability of maybe a Trent Alexander-Arnold there, and concentration, determination. He's got everything in abundance in terms of mentals, and he's physically great as well. He only just made it onto the list, I'm not going to lie to you, so it does get better, uh, but Reese James did just sneak in there. We wanted to have a fallback on the list at the end of the day. Next up then, Francisco Trinchao. My pronunciation obviously on point there. Uh, Chun Shao, dribbling 16, first touch 17, passing 16, technique 18. He's 30 years old here in 2030, but in 2020, he's obviously 1920. Um, off the ball, decisions, composure. So he's got everything really for that attacking position. We'll look, delve a little bit deeper into his history, Chun Chao, because I'm not too sure about it, to be honest with you. So he did join Barcelona here for 28.5 million from Braga. Um, and he's had some decent average rating then. He didn't really play for the first few years, though. So you could develop him more if you play him more. Um, but 10 goals, 5 assists, 10 goals, 4 assists. So he's scoring goals and he's creating goals as well. So that's Trinchao. Fatty then next. We know about Fatty if you've been playing FM20. Wow, look at those stats. Flair, determination, decisions, composure, anticipation. This guy's insane. You can pick him up at the start of the game. Will cost you upwards of 50 million, but shy of 100 million. So it is an expensive purchase, but you're getting one of the best players in the world, in the game, for that money. Yeah, he's an um, attacking midfielder, right, left, he can play up front as well. Fatty, absolutely insane, was great for me in FM20, and I'm sure he'll be insane in FM21 as well. Phil Foden comes onto the list, the Stockport Iniesta himself, first touch, free kick taken, pass in. Um, interesting to see what his position would be. Let's have a little look at Phil Foden's uh, position. So attack midfield centre is what I expected, really. Um, that's where he's natural. Also centre midfield as well. He's kind of just about, for me, got the stats to play centre midfield. The strength is just about there. He can just about tackle, etc. Very much like a Paul Scholes, actually, apart from maybe long shots. But uh, very much Iniesta, the Stockport Iniesta, like I said at first. Matthias Delict, we know all about this guy. Starts off at Juventus, obviously quite hard to get at the start of the game, I'm sure. Uh, but one of the best defenders in the game. You've got your basics sorted, your head in, your marking, your tackling, positioning, as well as pace, concentration. Guy's got it all, man. Okay, so next up, Espacito, Saba Daba 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 Espacito, Saba Daba 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 Espacito. So Espacito, Italian, 27 years old, finishing, composure, dribbling, one of the best players in the game here, especially in terms of forwards. Uh, let's have a little look into his history. He starts off, I think, at Inter Milan. Yeah, that's correct. And then he goes out on loan in 2020. This guy, you can actually, and if you check out my video I did uh, yesterday on, on my channel, FM Wonder Kids, hopefully I remember to put that up there. Um, 
you can pick, I did the strikers, Esposito, you can get him at the start of the game for 10 million. Now, the catch is he is out on loan somewhere else, so you'll have to wait for a season to get hold of him. Uh, but that's how good he gets. Absolutely insane. Kamavinga is another one. You could probably pick him up for relatively cheap because he's playing for not a top, top team at the start of the game. But a real classic, solid centre midfielder here who can actually pass and has got some vision as well. A la Ruben Neves in the last game. Really good stats there. Uh, Jaden Sancho, we know all about Dortmund and their asking price for Jaden Sancho, so expect art to imitate life. You won't get him for less than 100 million. Well, if you do, let me know in the comments. I haven't actually tried that theory out myself, to be fair. Crossing, dribbling, first touch, passing, anticipation, composure, decisions, flair. He's absolutely insane. But what really interests me as a Man United fan is how similar Sancho and Greenwood are. Now, why are Man United so obsessed with buying Sancho when they've got Greenwood? There only, there's only a year difference in their age. So look, 28 there, Sancho, 29 there. Okay, Sancho's a little bit better, but look at... I mean, Greenwood's class. Look at that. Free kick taking, first touch finishing, dribbling, determination, flair. And they play the same position. Sancho's got both... Can you use both feet, can he? Sancho's predominantly right-footed. We'll look at his positions right and left there. Green was more of a right-sided slash forward. But it, that's what confuses me. Why are United so obsessed with spending so much money on Jaden Sancho when they got Greenwood there? I know Greenwood's been out of the team recently. If you're watching this kind of live as it goes out, I know he's been out of the team. Um, some discipline issues, maybe application problems. Um, but we'll see. Top of the tree then today, Kylian Mbappe. Best young player in the world, and that has not changed in FM21. He's got the Holy Trinity, dribbling, finishing, first touch, passing, penalty taking technique. Uh, he's one of these unachievables, £100 million plus if you want to buy him. It, he might not even want to come to you, but decisions, composure, anticipations. If time passes through the game, maybe he gets unsettled at his team. Obviously, is someone you, you're going to want to get. Best player around agility, balance, natural fitness, pace. Kylian Mbappe, 31 years old and he's still worth £92 million. Guys, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out the website, that guide to FM, my channel FM on the kids, the Patreon if you want to support me and the channel. And yeah, thanks very much for watching. Lots more to come. Peace. <laughs>